Good morning from Leipzig, Germany and a city tour with a difference because I've got to be honest, apart from scribbling down a few notes, I know nothing about this place. So it'll be a journey of adventure, a wander into the unknown. But the one thing that I do know is that we're not going anywhere near that building behind me. And if you saw my last video, you know exactly why. I'm very excited to be here, to be honest. I've heard good things about Leipzig. It's meant to be a really cool place. I just hope I can do it justice. This is St Nicholas Church and see things like the fall of the Berlin Wall and German reunification, well it started right here. On October the 9th, 1989, crowds spilled out of this church and gathered in the square around the corner. Within a few hours, there were 70,000 strong, demanding a free country for free people. Within a month, the Berlin Wall had fallen. And you can probably tell by the lack of people that I start my tours quite early. It's not open yet, but I will come back, I promise. And here we are in a very windy Augustusplatz. It's quite a strange place to be honest, a mishmash of different building styles. But historically it's quite significant, isn't it? Now if I'm not mistaken, there is another square, an older and smaller one I think. Let's see if my notes can take me there. Ah, okay, that's the university. I was wondering what that building was. And just tucked away around the corner next to the university, we've got the entrance to the Panorama Tower. It sure would be nice to get up high and have a look out over the city. I always like to do that as soon as I arrive somewhere. I wonder if it's open yet. It doesn't look very open. Nah, you know what? We'll come back later. Oh no, my list of places to come back to is growing already. But it shouldn't be too difficult, I think. It's quite a compact city centre. There shouldn't be too much walking, he says. Untergrund. Even I understand that. Aye, this is a bit more like your kind of traditional European market square, isn't it? See this building behind me? This is the old town hall. They built it in nine months. They can't even fill a hole in Montrose High Street in nine months. So this is the Thomas Kirke, and Kirke is a word that we recognise in Scotland because we use the word Kirk. I like that. And a couple of things about St Thomas's. Number one, Johann Sebastian Bach was the choir master here, 
And number two, I think we can go inside. Beautiful, isn't it? Right from the old, I'm now going to walk somewhere a wee bit more modern. I am sorry, no fancy pants breakfast for me this morning. 63 euro cents. Breakfast on the go. Time is precious. Ach, I'm sorry, I don't think we're going to get a very good view of the Red Bull Arena. This is home to RB Leipzig, and behind that facade, there is quite a modern football stadium, which hosted World Cup games in 2006, and will host Euro 2024 games next year. Now, this used to be the old Central Stadion, which was the biggest stadium in all of Old East Germany, but these days it only holds about 40,000 people. Now you can do stadium tours here, but unfortunately you have to book in advance and it's sold out today, isn't it? But I wonder if I walk around the corner if I'll get a better view. It doesn't look like it. Now I'm seeing nothing around here, but I wonder if that tower is part of the old Central Stadion. Nah, I'm afraid it's a bit like a prison with all these fences, I can't get anywhere near it. So would I suggest that you come to the Red Bull Arena without a match day ticket or a tour? Nah. Right, I'll head back to the Panorama Tower. I promised you I would show you the inside of St Nicholas Church, so we'll go there. And then we'll try and jump on a tram and head out of town a bit. And as we cross this wee bridge, here's a fact for you. Did you know that Leipzig has got more bridges than Venice? There we go. You learn something every day, eh?
I'm not shopping, I promise, but it's just so easy to get distracted by these amazing little passages. That's what we're looking for. Right, I'm so confused. I'm in the elevator on the Panorama Tower and the guy was saying you go up to the 29th floor and you pay at the top. Oh well, we'll see what happens up there. Wow, okay, here we are. Only five euro. <laughs> wow, it's windy, but it really is beautiful up here. And away off in the distance, I can see the monument to the Battle of the Nations, which has just reminded me that's another place I want to go today. Oh, and you might be able to make out off in the distance the Hauptbahnhof. That's where, of course, I spent all day yesterday. Well, I put the Panorama Tower on the very recommended list. It's the best five euro you'll spend. Well, another very beautiful church and really different from the last one, wasn't it? Right, we're quite near to the hotel now, so I'll nip back and let you see the room, which was a complete bargain, by the way. And then we'll try and figure out how to buy a tram ticket. Right, I'm staying at the Big Mama Hotel, that's right, the Big Mama, and it was £48 a night. Now, for £48 in the centre of Leipzig, you might expect it to be a bit of a shoebox, but wait till you see the room. So just inside the door, you've got this little hallway and off the hallway is the bathroom. Very nice. And a proper big bath as well. You don't often see those, do you? And then through to the bedroom. Look at this. 
Okay, so the furniture's a bit on the cheap side, but look at the space I've got and a balcony. Granted, it's a very small balcony and every time I come out here, I scare the pigeons in the trees, but a small balcony is better than no balcony, isn't it? And I love that building across the road. Cheers. What I'm looking for now is a number 690 bus and that'll take me down to the monument of the Battle of the Nations. I was looking forward to getting a tram but that'll just have to wait. Now to get the bus of course I need a ticket and I want to buy a day ticket but I just don't know where you get them. Ticket purchase successful, now where is that bus? Hello. That's quite an impressive sight, isn't it? When I saw it from the Panorama Tower, I thought, yeah, that looks quite big, but I didn't realise it was this big. Oh, there's a wee lake as well. I think we should walk around there. I think that will maybe be the best view from down there. There is not a chance this looks as impressive on screen as it does in person, but anyway, here you go. The Monument of the Battle of the Nations, built in 1913 to commemorate the Battle of Leipzig in 1813 and the defeat of Napoleon's army. But as cool as it is, that's one monument that I'm not really fussed about going up. I think it's best viewed from outside, isn't it? Right, what next? Well, I do have in my notes that there's a flea market this afternoon, not a million miles from here. So I reckon we should go and try and find that. Oh, we're onto a tram next, the number 11. Oh no, that's the number 11, isn't it? Come on.
I'm not really sure where I am or what this is, but there's a big queue to get in, so it looks popular. Which side to stand? I don't know. Left. So welcome to the Nachtflow Markt, easy for me to say, flea market. Here we are. I imagine you can buy anything here. Yeah, I'm only just in the door and this is already incredible. Although it's one of these places you can't just be random, you've got to have a strategy. This hall is massive. So I'm going to start at the left hand side and work my way across and go up and down every single aisle. Old trains. An old radio, anyone? Look at these. Quite a lot to choose from, isn't there? I really should challenge myself to buy something, shouldn't I? But it'd have to be small, I don't have much room in my bag. Tins. I've got a thing for these. Oh, this has turned into an episode of Bargain Hunt, isn't it? But I'm a bit overwhelmed. <laughs> Undelivered Amazon packages. I'm sure one of those is mine. Right, folks, I need some food. Well, there was never really any competition, was there? It's always a bratwurst for me, whether it's a normal one or a curried one. Oh yeah, the big question, did I buy anything? You bet I did. Alicia asked for a gift, so I hunted out the two ugliest figures in the whole market. You are so welcome, my dear. That's the sun going down on a cracking day in Leipzig. Seriously, I've had so much fun today. I hope you've enjoyed the video. There's one more place I want to show you, but it's best to see it in the dark. So I'm just taking my time and walking there. I could have got a tram or a bus or something, but it's such a lovely evening. Oh, the legend that is Rod Stewart. There's an excuse to come back to Leipzig. Hey, this is a nice part of town. Some lovely houses down this leafy street. I think that's us kind of on the edge of Konovitz now. And Konovitz is this kind of really cool, trendy place. There's little bars everywhere and people sitting outside drinking beer. It's cool. I just had the scariest thing ever happen. Four guys came out of nowhere. They had masks on, I could just see their eyes. And they were pointing at my camera and they kind of surrounded me. I managed to run, get away from them. 
and I ran into a shop, I was going to get the shop owner to call the cops and then the four guys just stormed into the shop and the girl behind the counter was saying can you take this outside and sort it and I was thinking they were trying to steal my camera so I'd, I just absolutely legged it up the road but then the girl in the shop who spoke English she was saying that they weren't trying to steal your camera but they were concerned that you were filming them Oh man, that was so scary. So I went outside with these four guys. They still had their masks up. Really big kind of burly guys. And um, I showed them my business card. I said, you know, like I'm a 50 year old vlogger. What is the problem? And eventually they were, they were okay. They checked my channel and they were just like, yeah, that's cool, on you go. But that was the scariest moment of my life. Getting chased up the street in Germany by four guys with masks on. Oh man, I don't think this is the part of town for me. Well, there we are, the final thing I wanted to see in Leipzig. It's a really famous old neon sign. Apparently you can text a phone number and it'll light up for you if you give like a small donation. But I'm just not really in the mood for it anymore. I'm not gonna let those guys spoil my time here, but for today, I think that's it, folks. I'm gonna call it quits. I'm only happy they didn't steal my camera. The camera can go, but the SD cards are priceless. And thankfully, I still have them in my possession, so. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.